section how we can design the playlist as per the for the thick web and with the help of start so although we have studied about how we can do that in the excel file in detail if you will remember this lecture that without stepner thick webs has had been considered and we had uh, calculated the bending moment and the shear force requirement as per the code uh, with the help of the manual calculations also and with the help of an excel file program also now we can cross verify the same uh, in the stat itself but considering that the thick web only and without stepners only so uh, just as an example our the span of the girder that we had considered was 20 meters so we can just go to the editor file here and then just enter the first node I can just simply try uh, control C control V this node at x equal to 20 meters and we can simply model the plate girder here from one point to the another now uh, the geometry has been done for the properties the properties that we had considered here were uh, the depth of the web was considered 1300 mm and uh, the flanges that were considered were uh, the thickness of the flange was considered 40 mm and the uh, this width of the flange was considered as 350 mm so 350 by 40 and uh, this is 1300 by uh, 20 mm so basically when we are entering the data here in the terms of defined tapered i section there you will see that the f1 that is a total height so this height is inclusive of the thickness of the web also uh, web flange also and the thickness of the web that can be considered as 20 mm and this is also 1.38 width of the plan top flange is 0.35 thickness of top flange as 0 0.04 that is the uh, flange that we had considered as 350 by 40 mm and here also we can go for 0 0.35 and 0 0.04 so we can assign this property and uh, we can check that by pressing control plus 2 the isometric also so now this is also done after that we don't need to assign the specifications but we can assign the supports here as the pinned at both the ends considering that we had considered wl square by 8 for the calculation of the uh, the spending moment of analysis so uh, we can assign the pinned support at both the ends and after that for the loading uh, we can uh, enter the 57 kn per meter as the loading unfactored now this number do included the self weight also so here we had considered that the dead load uh, that is considered 20 kn per minute that is inclusive of the self weight so that is why i am not applying the self weight minus one command so uh, we can go ahead with the member load uniform force and minus 57 and uh, here we can define for the factor combination also so we can go ahead with the 1.5 as factor and 1.5 of load for the analysis we can uh, enter the perform analysis command and then for the design steel we can select is 18 2007 lst we can go ahead with the fy lds 250 newton per mm square and uh, for the track uh, sorry the stp it has to be as per the welded section And the beam has to be laterally supported.
so that's it we can assign this to the complete view here and after that we can go ahead with the check code command so we can now we can do the analysis So here we can see that the bending moment that is coming is approximately 4 to 7 5 kilonewton meter. So if you will check your value, the same bending moment 4 to 7 5 kilonewton meter that is exactly the same value. After that, when we will find uh, when we are checking the bending moment capacity of the uh, section, here we will see that the bending moment capacity is approximately 6184 kilonewton meter. And here also it is 6184 kilonewton meter. So all the you know values that we had checked here in the form of an Excel file, that those values are matching. And if we are checking the shear capacity uh, also of the section, you will find that the plus the nominal shear resistance that is calculated is approximately 3411 kilonewton. So here also you can see that it is approximately th uh, 3411 FVY. So all the values are matching as per the consideration that we had taken in the manual Excel file calculations. So uh, simply, you know, we can conclude that if we want to calculate or if we want to design the plate girders without stiffeners with thick web, we can simply do that in the start and our results shall be same as we had considered uh, or we, you know, we can consider in the form of an Excel file calculations also.